Hello friends, welcome to Hello English. My name is Rupam. In today's video, I am going to tell you how this year can make you good in English. How you can speak English fluently. How you can become strong in English communication skills. So please watch this video till the end. But before we start, I have a question for you. I have a good habit. You know, one of my good habits is I read books every day. What is your good habit? One good habit. Can you share with me in the comment? Let everyone see what is your good habit. So let's start with today's video. Let me tell you an incident. Once there was a businessman, big businessman, and he met a farmer. But the farmer is also very educated, like the businessman. So when they met, the businessman started talking so many different things about his business. And he is not willing to listen to the farmer. The farmer also wanted to say something. But the businessman is busy with his talk. So the farmer said, let's have a cup of tea. So they started having tea. The businessman's cup is almost empty. The farmer started pouring more and more tea. And at one point, the tea started overflowing, coming out of the cup. The businessman got angry, said, what is this? Can't you see that the cup is full? Then the farmer said, the cup is not full. If you want to learn something new, you have to empty your cup first. The businessman did not understand. Then the farmer started talking. The farmer said that if you want to learn something new, you first have to clear your thoughts. Be very open-minded and you should be ready to listen to others. Only then you will learn new things and you will experience something new. The farmer basically wants to say that in order for us to learn something new, we have to be ready to listen to others and be ready to accept something new. He meant to say that we must let go of our presumptions and be ready to accept new ideas if we want to learn and grow in life. So my dear friends, always be open-minded and have the willingness to learn. That is when you will be able to learn more. Same in the case of learning English. Got it? So let's come to today's video. In today's video, I will share with you four amazing ways which will help you to become very strong in English. You will be able to speak English flawlessly. But you need to follow these four habits, four useful ideas. So what are these? Let's begin. Number one is you need to practice daily. Daily practice will give a shape to your learning. When you practice daily, you will understand that day by day, your English is improving. How? Consider that your friend, he is learning, but he is not regular. But you are regular. Every day you practice. Just see the difference after three or four months. You will be far more ahead than your friend. So what to practice? Initially, start with some expressions, some words, some phrases. Now, let me share with you some expressions which we use on a regular basis. Like when we greet someone or when we meet someone. For example, pleased to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Glad to meet you. Nice meeting you. I have enjoyed meeting you. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Good to meet you. Happy to meet you. It's a very nice meeting you. So you can use these expressions you know, when you meet someone after a long time. Also, try to learn some new words. Make a habit that every day you will learn something new. A word or a phrase or an expression. Whatever you learn, try to understand the meaning and try to use it in your life. So that you don't forget some words which we use on a regular basis. Like, kin. Kin means very eager, burst, means very dry, jubilant, means very happy, precious, 
means very valuable, delicious, very tasty. So in this way, my dear friends, take one word and try to remember that word and try to use that word on a regular basis. Like suppose for the example of kin. Kin means very eager. I am very keen to meet my cousin after a long time. In this way, try to make sentences so that your mind opens up and you can remember the word. The second useful tip is speak for five minutes every day. Initially, when you start speaking English, your mind will not be ready. Okay, but don't hesitate. Every day, make a habit that when you that you practice for five minutes or ten minutes if you have time. When you develop this habit, slowly you see how nicely you can communicate with others. Talk in simple sentences, small small sentences, but speak. What to speak? As a beginner, you can pick up some topics. Let me share some topics with you. See, these are the list of topics. I'll give you a demo. Okay, suppose books. Okay, when you speak for five minutes, try to speak at least ten sentences on the same topic. Think and speak. Suppose books. I love reading books. Reading books is my hobby. Every day I make sure that I read books for five minutes. The first book which I read was. The monk who sold his Ferrari. Recently, I'm reading a book. It's called Who Will Cry When You Die? So, in this way, keep thinking and keep speaking. Ten sentences on one topic. Easy, right? It's not tough. Make it a habit. And you will be surprised that how nicely your English becomes after three months. The third useful tip read and think in english now what is this make a habit of reading every day reading not only helps you to learn vocabulary it opens up your mind it opens up your mouth to speak in english more you get a hang of speaking in english you learn proper grammar new new words phrases this is wonderful my dear friends so what to read? You can read anything. But as a beginner, you can always start with some easy lessons, some moral stories. Then you can switch on to some articles, some magazines, news online. Let me show you what you can do. Okay. Basically, I want to tell you that after you read that, you think in your mind. Narrate the same thing. Let me show you a demo. Now here is a small story. After a feast, two cats see a piece of cake and start fighting for it. A monkey sees this as an opportunity for gain and offers to help them. The monkey divides the cake into two parts but shakes its head saying they are unequal. He takes a bite of one piece and then the other but still finds them unequal. He continues doing it until there is no more cakes left, leaving the poor two cats disappointed. Moral, when you quarrel amongst yourselves, someone else gains from it. So now you read this, okay? After reading, just think in your mind and talk to yourself what you understood from this. What is the main part of this story? So it's like this. Uh, in this story, I came to know that there were two cats. The cats were fighting. A monkey suddenly came and wanted to help them. The monkey said he will divide the cake into two pieces. But at the end, he ate the cake. The two cats were very sad. Moral of the story, you should not fight among yourself. If you fight, someone else will be benefited. So in this way, you are narrating the story in your mind uh, and you are understanding. What will happen here is that first of all, you will not forget what you read. Secondly, you are developing that sense where you will be able to narrate the story. It will be easy for you to communicate with others if you follow this technique. 
the fourth useful tip write every day yes make a habit of writing at least 120 words every day writing is a great way to improve your english communication skills so what to write write about your family write about your friends about your first crush about your lover about the place where you live your favorite food let me give you a list so that you can start writing you got the list okay my dear friends i have one assignment write something and share in the comment five or six sentences what to write write about is mobile good or bad okay think and write and share with me i will wait for your comment after you write you have to check if it is correct or not after writing whatever you wrote copy and paste it in gmail okay go to gmail where you write messages put it there and see if there is any mistake or not if there is mistake it will highlight in the red color and you will understand that you have to work on this you have to make the corrections there this is how you understand if your writing is proper or you need to make some corrections this is a great way to improve your english so my dear friends these are the four useful tips now let me share with you how you can talk about time what time is this because many of my subscribers they keep asking me sir please explain something about time how we can tell others what is the time now so what time it is we will take an example of nine o'clock okay so if it is nine you will say nine o'clock if it is nine five five past nine you can say five past nine nine ten ten past nine nine fifteen you can say quarter past nine same way twenty past nine twenty five past nine half past nine that is it's nine thirty nine thirty five what you will say twenty five to ten nine forty twenty to ten same way you go 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 and at the end you say it's ten o'clock keep it in mind my dear friends this will help you if you have to tell someone about the time you can use this so this is all about today's video i wish you all the very best thank you so much